Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea, where we're still at war with Ming, trying to unsiege some stuff, including our capital. We're playing pussyfoot with this guy, and I really don't know if I should keep playing pussyfoot with this guy. At some point, we're just going to have to fight him. He doesn't seem to want to attack us, which is understandable. But I've got his army totally trapped here now. Let's see what he does. This is his emperor, by the way. He seems content to attack us into the woods. So he's going to take a negative one. There's no river. He's going to take us a negative one to attack us in the woods. I'm okay with that. Oh, he changed his mind. Changed his mind. Quang He. Really? He's going to the grasslands. So he can attack us if we go to Pyongan. But there's still a river there. I think we just got to go for it. Oh, we failed that siege. I think we just got to go for it. We got to take this army on. We got to start beating them up. Nice. We're not rolling too well, though. Oh, rolling terrible, actually. Two, zero, two, one. There's a nine. A little late. We started off that battle with 2-0-2-1. Talk about shitty rolls. Okay, you unsiege the capital. You unsiege that. We bloodied his lip, but we didn't really do much damage. Hey, we got Miyuga-san. Can we get out of there? No, this army's dead. But we got Miyuga-san. Fantastic. Four days before the enemy arrived. Good. Lost a cannon, though. It's okay. Go unseach Jirem with this Merc. Jirem is the war goal, so that'll be a good one for us. How many loans do we have? Like 15? 11. That's a lot of loans. Can we retreat on the 9th? We're not going to survive that long. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, we're sieging our capital back with a two siege general. He stopped in Beijing. Oh, baby. And that's a grassland province. I think we're going to go attack that. No general? Ooh. Yeah, no general out there. Okay. <sighs> Squish this. Good, come over here. Wargle's about to flip back to us. So glad we got that fort. There we go. 27, much better. He's getting close to considering a white piece, which is fantastic. Come on, I need a wall breach in my capital. Is that even a battle? We had more than 10,000 troops. Why is that even a battle? It should just be an insta squish. Oh, he's moving. Okay, that's unfortunate. I can't go there. We go head back. I got kind of trapped over here in movement. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to go this way. That's unfortunate. Let's 
I wonder if I can win that battle just 17 versus 13. Is it worth a shot? It's worth a fucking shot, sure. Get him. Rolling six. Rolling three. Nah, he's rolling too well. He rolls eights and sixes and shit. And then we roll a one. Fuck me, dude. Fuck. Why did I even try that? Why did I even try that? <sighs> oh, and we're not even retreating? Oh, God. Now our armies are split up. I should not have tried that. Feel dumb now. Looks like we're going to get our capital back, though. God, this army is going to be so far away. Hey, we got our capital back. Now we're talking. We are close to a white piece, baby. He's at seven exhaustion. We're about to have a noble coup. Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to revoke a bunch of noble lands here. I got no choice. Wait, are they loyal? Yeah, they are. Okay, I can't revoke any more, though. What does this coup even do? I've never had one of these before. I mean, it's going to happen. Trade efficiency, taxes, and trade. And how do you stop it once it's started? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to get rid of their lands. Oh, that means we're going to have rebels, though. That is a problem. Seven, okay. Tempted to go siege Beijing. He would be attacking us, of course, but we'll see what happens. Go unsiege Ihiri if we can. Nineteen war score. One more province should do it. Unfortunately, he's going to get the war goal back here. Wait, did his good general die? No, he's right there. Let me kill this guy, because if, if we get lucky, we kill this general. That's the emperor. He might fall into a regency, and he might also lose the mandate of heaven with that average claim idiot. Squish him. Kill this emperor. Okay, we did that, but he didn't die. Darn. Crisis. Lose legitimacy or stability. I'll keep my stability, thank you. Okay, it's at 82. It's at 89% uh, progress. Chengdi. It's going south. Okay. Interesting. There we go. Okay. So many loans.
and siege that capital. He's going to get Mugasan back soon. Get a Merc for Jirim. Let's go take out this one army. Oh, he's going for this army. That's fine. Oh, shit. He got Mugasan. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're going to get your. We're going to get this back. Nice. Where are you going? Got the war goal back. He's at eight war exhaustion. Still not a scratch on his uh, Mandate of Heaven, though. Look at that. He's got positive three stability, almost perfect legitimacy, super duper tolerance of the true faith, and the Mandate of Heaven is ridiculous. Revolts don't happen in Ming. Oh, you're actually going to catch me? Damn, okay. Come on, good battle for us. Good battle, good battle. Not quite. I mean, it's okay. We're gonna win. Should be better than that, though. I think the important thing there is we killed more of him than we lost. He's actually got 26 mercs. I'm gonna see just capital. Like, I don't see why not. He's coming south with a really big army. That's what's scary. And a really good general. I'm gonna fall back to the mountains. This will give us time to unsiege Mongolia. And perhaps Oirat. Good. Siege him up. 8.4 war exhaustion. Okay, he thought about attacking us in the mountains, then he changed his mind. Okay. go unseach my vassal if I can. Mm -hmm. 
50% on this siege. That'd be really nice to get. Come on, one more Merc. Nope. Okay. Yes. Okay, now you can go unsiege Mugasan. That sounds good. Okay, we're pulling this war back, surprisingly. Ming wants white peace. Ha 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 ha. He wants white peace. Baby, we are in business. Uh, the one thing that scares me is bankruptcy. I don't know if I can avoid bankruptcy. And he also teched up to tech 10. Motherfucker. This guy's tech is insane. Anyway, let's continue. Oh wow, you're not blockading anything, are you? All these ports are sieged. Alright, go down there and blockade. This army's coming back. I would like to fight this army rather than that one. So let's get over here. He actually undocked his navy. Oh shit, this is mostly transports down here. Gross. Okay, I didn't expect that at all. I should have paid attention. Anyway. Looks like he's content to attack us, and then he changed his mind. Good. Let's party. Fifteenth of March. That is a long way to. He's actually going to get away. That's how far away it is. Damn. Okay. As long as his. Oh fuck! He's running away from me. Shit, he's running away. I can't recruit any mercs. We have recruited the maximum number of mercs. Yeah, he's running away from me. I can't do anything about it. I can't go there. Start sieging Beijing, I guess. Oh, we lost a lot of ships, didn't we? Ah, uh, six transports. That's the rough one. Alright, let's go dock up. Yeah, he's just going south. Okay, tell you what. I'll come fight you in Jerem. You and your good general and everything. I don't care. I sort of care. loans.
Oh, he's attacking us. Oh, fuck. Is there a river? Yes, there is, but he's got three maneuver. I have no general. Oh my god. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. This is gonna hurt a lot. I can't believe I'm this out of position. Like, I have generals. I, they're just not assigned, apparently. Oh, because I merged and split the army, of course. At least he rolled a zero. Go easy on me, senpai. God, that hurts. It's just the shock phase is crazy because of that fucking emperor they have. Fuck it, get out of there. God damn, that sucked. Unbelievable. I can't believe I got so fucking out of position there. Fuck. Fuck. That was awful. Oh, God damn it. That is a rough thing to merge. That's my entire army now. Brutal. We had 39,000, now we're at 18,000. God, that battle was awful. But he is up to 30 mercs, and he's at 10 exhaustion, which is great. to the mountains. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Why did I have to dick around down there? I didn't need to get down there. He had both armies somewhat nearby. I saw that and I still didn't do anything about it. God damn it. Back to square one. Like, this war just reset itself back to two episodes ago. The difference between Ming and I is he's two techs ahead. No, I can't catch up. He's two techs ahead and he has the world's largest economy, more than double my economy. So even if, even if I were to bloody his nose, he could murk up to the end of time and I cannot. Get Jiren back. Get the war go back. And I fucked up with the Navy, too. I didn't need to send that guy down there. I just wanted to see if I could blockade with him, and I didn't realize his Navy was there, and I... I didn't even check to see if his navy was any good still. Obviously we beat it, but we lost a lot of ships in the process. I think it would have been smarter to just not engage that at all. Okay, blockade his capital. That'll help a little bit. Yeah, four war score. Take out this two stack. I'll take out these little armies in this in the north. Oh, he's fighting rebels. Good. He's fighting my vassals rebels. That's fantastic. Okay, we got the war goal back. 
Okay, we're no longer close to a white piece. And I think that's because his military vastly outnumbers ours. Like, that's got to be the reason why he doesn't want white piece anymore. Tempting to attack that guy, but I don't think... Yeah, this guy could definitely get up there in time. The Rebels is actually good for us, because Ming seems to want to fight them. Something to waste his troops on. Is that all he has? 33,000? No, he has another 8,000 somewhere. Oh, up there. Duh. We just need this stupid emperor to die. I mean, it's too late now. They can't even have a regency anymore. The kid's 14 already. Kid grew up fast. He's not even moving. He's just chilling there. He's going to get the war goal back. Okay, we almost have a white piece, and I think I'm going to take it. As much as I don't want to, I feel like we should be beating up Japan right now. we got to recover our economy somehow. Economy's in shambles. That and being two techs behind is just awful. God, he's tech 10 already. at 10 exhaustion. We got Mew Gassan back. Interesting, he doesn't want my arm. Not Mew Gassan. Okay. I'll merge these troops, no problem. Or merge these armies, I mean. It's coming back. these loans like even if we get peace I mean, we're going to get peace at some point but even once we get peace how are we going to repay these loans we have so many ducats of loans where is he going I'm going to go back to the woods. Oh, shit. Rebels spawned on my face. That's not good. I didn't even notice Rebels had spawned. Whew. How many loans does he have with 28 mercs? He has five loans now. That's nice. Yeah, his man-child has come of age. Crap. He is sieging the war goal, though, so we gotta stop that. Can we stop that? Not really. Not while there's 40k guys right there. They need to move. They need to move somewhere. They need to. Nope, they're coming. They need to split up. If they split up, we can get them. But not if they stick together. Well, there's the white piece. Do I go white piece? He's at 10 exhaustion. 11. We could just continue the war.
gosh, this is such a war, isn't it? This is such a fucking war. I'm tempted just to stick it out until Japan declares on us. Once Japan declares on us, we gotta stop. That's already a major problem, though. If Japan declares on us, what the fuck do we even do about it? Like, I don't even have ships to transport troops over. But he only has 21 soldiers. I don't know. If he gets this back, we can't white peace anymore. <sighs> Fuck it. I need his armies to split up. I really do. Go kill Mongolia's rebels. I think he's going for my capital. That'd be fun. He's really being a dick with this 1-5 general. I need him to not be such a dick. Okay, there's the war with Japan. So I need to peace out with Ming. This is bullshit now. Which means I need to merc up and get this guy, get this siege back. Fuck me, man. Can I handle Japan's navy? Yeah, two heavies. I can. I still think I can handle that, yeah. All right, let's get down there. Maybe I should go up here. Let's go up here, keep an eye on Japan's navies. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen at some point. I lost some claims too. That sucks. Uh, you don't bother with spying on Japan, not for now. Gosh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, I should have taken the white piece earlier. Oh, he's attacking in the mountains, is he? Okay, let's go. What did you declare for? Musashi? Where the fuck is Musashi? There. Okay, fine. Siege it, whatever, I don't care. Oh, my vassal has a 3-6 general. Nice job, Yeren. I like it. Should be amazing here. Assuming we can hold on to this battle. Hang in there, Yeren. And the Emperor is dead. Long live Queen Jong Hu the First. Welcome aboard, Jong Hu. 3 6 General, I like it. I don't know if it's going to be enough to hold on to the battle, though. Let's we'll see. Looks like the answer is no. You know, you think defending in the mountains with a far superior general. I mean, that's way better than a 1-5. But the difference right here is tactics. He's two techs ahead. He's got better better units. It just makes a huge difference. It's too bad. But we will get the war goal back. And hopefully that's enough to wipe peace out. It may not be. You know, maybe, maybe now that Japan's at war with me, maybe... Uh, Maybe he won't want white peace at all. It's possible. This is just going to be a big pain in the ass. He's coming in for the kill as well. No white peace. Really? 51? Making gains. Oh, wow. So because he won that battle, he does not want peace anymore. Fair enough. Let's see if we can sneak out of here. I doubt it. Oh, he's going to my capital. Good.
Yeah, great. He's just going to ignore me. Fantastic. Still thinks he's making games. gonna unseat some stuff and peace out with Ming. Uh, let me go blockade his capital. I think that was doing it. Because it's 2.2 war score for his capital blockaded. Yeah, that should be enough. There we go. So it's unfortunate we didn't get anything out of the war with Ming, but you know, the tech advantage and the numbers advantage just didn't work out. So we'll eat some of Japan. It's fine. Okay, so war with Japan. Why don't we save this for another episode? Thank you for watching. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time for war with Japan. Bye-bye.